right, five minutes after 10 o'clock, and it's time for Ocala Magazine Radio. Let me get Kelly's picture on here. Oh, we got two pretty ladies in the camera. Look at that. Uh, it's time for Ocala Magazine Radio. Good morning, Kelly. How are you doing? Hey, good morning. Great. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. You're Fantastic. looking good as usual. Thank you. Orange goes good with black, doesn't it? Thank you. So it's a nice uh, combination so. color. And who's the pretty lady Thank next you. to you? I have a guest this morning. This is Miss Karen Hatch, and she is here with us because she's with FAFO, and Ocala Magazine is the official city magazine ah, of FAFO, and right. Symphony Under the Stars is coming up. Uh, gosh, oh, very yes, soon. of course. And so we want to talk a little bit about that and, and get the excitement going on that, which we'll do in a few moments. I do want to mention um, our Celebration of Nursing event that yeah, happened last it go? night. It was amazing. It was our second annual event, and it was a circus theme. So, I mean, everything was, you know, bright and colorful. Did and you have a red nose? We had red noses that we gave out <laughs> to everybody, yes. And that was a lot of fun, seeing everybody walking around with those on. And it was, it was at the Livestock Pavilion. It was uh -huh. a free event for nurses, local nurses, their friends, their family. We had food vendors, we had um, wine and beer vendors, and we also had fish hawk, uh, which joined us last night. I don't know if you've heard of fish hawk. No, what is fish hawk? They have a, an amazing blueberry vodka that oh, they okay, make. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And they get the blueberries from Island Grove Winery, who um, was also there last night with their wines, and they make a delicious sangria and blueberry moscatos, and Tri Eagle Sales was there, and there was a ton of food vendors and entertainment. We had stilt walkers and acrobats. No. And they floated around oh, the room wow. and stacked on top of one another and did all kinds of Man, really you went all out. Bendy things. Yeah, when Ocala bendy, Magazine bendy does things. something, we what do, we, wait, do wait, it. Wait, 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 bendy things. Go back to that. What was that? Like, you know, arms and legs wrapped all around. It was like, where does she end and where does she start i don't know it's what <laughs> yeah really really interesting i mean these young ladies were very flexible and really where'd you find them costumes we have a source online where we don't have anybody local that's uh -huh. able to do no bendy things. no bendy no, locals no bendy locals no uh, or at least none that i'm aware of <laughs> so we draw from an outside source and it's the same company that we looked to last year when we had our uh -huh. polynesian theme and, oh. uh, so we had a really good time there was so many door prizes all of our door prizes were worth a hundred dollars or more at the end of the night we gave away a uh, um, ideal Image had a gift card or uh -huh, some type of uh -huh. service, and it was over two thousand dollars. Wow! And we were able to give our awards out to nice. nurses. So nice we gave a, a Spirit Award for a nurse, a local nurse who has been working less than ten years, and then an Inspiration Award between ten and twenty years, and then a Legacy Award over wow. twenty years, wow. and uh, a People's Choice Award. I mean, it was just it was a really fun night. From the minute people walked in, it was photos, and here's free this and free that, and we gave out poker chips. And after they tasted all of the vendors' foods, they were able to vote for their best in show restaurant, which oh, Crazy okay. Cucumber won okay, okay. last night. So uh, and they beat Mojo's by like one poker chip. So oh, really? It was very oh, close. no. Yeah, it was neck and oh, neck. No. But I mean, at the end of the night, it, it takes a lot of work. Of course, I mean, we're, put, we're trying to put together a magazine still. That doesn't stop or slow down sure, ever. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then on top of that, planning for a huge event with several hundred people. And so. It's a lot of work, but you know, it's it's like we said last year. Once everyone's there, and the nurses start hugging you and and telling you how special that was for them, appreciate and how being appreciated. You're like, oh, it's so yeah. worth it. It's so worth yeah. all the work. So it was a great event. So now we're already talking about next year's <coughs> event and what we can it's do. It's a wonderful thing you're doing. It it's really, it really, really awesome. is. It's a group of people that really get overlooked, and, and they yeah. do so much of the work for yeah. all the healthcare facilities. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it takes a special person. So we wanted to make sure that we stopped at least one night out of a year to recognize them and let them come and have fun and win prizes and eat and drink and not have any other responsibility other than just have to a good show time. up. And nobody yeah. was on call. Nobody had to hurry up and leave. I don't believe no. so. I don't believe so. And we do a game. It's called our wine toss. Uh -huh. And so it's a table and it probably had, gosh, uh, 150 bottles of different wine on it. And we then we draw a line back several feet away and we give them little plastic rings, kind of like at the carnival. Okay, okay, right. And we've done this. We did it last year. And but it was it's not hit. rigged like it is at the no, carnival. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> and if you ring the bottle of wine, then that's your bottle. You take it home. Oh, and it's yours. Anybody, so, anybody do it? Oh yeah. 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 Are you kidding? They if they don't win, they go to the back of the line, and they do it oh, again, try it again. And again, okay, and okay, again, and okay. again. And I mean, last year, even at the, we said thank you, have a great evening, be safe, 
and there was still some bottles to be won, and, and the nurses were still lined up. They oh, were, really? We're not leaving. <laughs> we're not leaving without the wine. So, and last night it was the it was the same situation. Oh, they absolutely like had a great time. So, we're very proud of everybody who sh- who showed up and who just made it possible. For that them. sounds very because cool. it really took the community. I mean, it's a free event, meaning a lot of what we were able to give to the nurses was done with donations. And contributions of time or, or money yeah. or products. So it is really, it's really phenomenal. Por- portion of our community that we really yeah. need to hold up and remember. Absolutely. And all of our winners will be announced in the May issue of Ocala Magazine. And that was very special to be able to present those awards. And then, of course, all of our contributors and vendors and everybody will be mentioned in May. So we want to make sure people know, hey, these are the people in your community that gave time to celebrate nurses and a lot of time and yeah, a lot of money. Yeah, so... Yeah. If you can reciprocate and use those people for business when you need it, we would love that. That's, that's kind of how we a, operate. That's the ba- uh, scratch your back, you scratch right. mine kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we it's like to thing. do that. Good, good stuff. Certainly. So we'll change gears. I want to let Karen talk about the Symphony Under the Stars that's coming up. I know that it's been around since 1988. I made a note of that this morning. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so a long time. I've had the pleasure of going several times and, and taking my daughter and my mom and it my is sister. a wonderful event yeah it's so yeah. amazing and yeah. so but it's coming up soon so if you haven't heard about it or gotten tickets you need to do so very quickly so i'll turn it over to you and let you kind of give a rundown of what we can expect this year we um actually this is our 50th anniversary for the symphony under stars event and uh, for patho actually as a whole and we're excited about that excited to, uh, it's as you were mentioning this is a community event as Mm -hmm. well we get a lot of support from the community that's one nice thing about being a part of Marion County Um, being a part of this community is is everybody's so willing to give and give back to the nurses give back to fine arts Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm on a lot of different boards and and that's one of the reasons why I love living and working in this community our symphony under the stars events is uh, sponsored by quite a few people and um, we hold this event every year at the golf club, um, the Silver Springs Golf Club, and um, it's old Muni golf course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, we were kind of asked to maybe look at changing that event um, to go to another location. Oh, really? And we, well, you know, the, the revitalization of the downtown area is, is exploding yeah. with everything that's going on down there. And they asked us if we might consider moving our event down there, oh, that okay. would be a consideration. And, and we really thought it's special. It's special at the golf club. Mm-hmm, I know mm-hmm. that they've done a lot there. Um, they've embraced us and, and us, them, you know, is in reference to facilitating the event. You know, when they first came, they're like, you do what on our golf course? Because um, <laughs> <laughs> so, they're newly managed yeah, for the right, last right, couple right, of years. Right. So we're like, well, we, you know, by 5,000 of our closest family and friends to yeah, the golf club yeah. <laughs> on Mother's Day. Do we and, have lots of divots at the end yeah, of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we made some modifications and um, and they are wonderful to work with and now they get it. They Last year they were like, wow, what an event. And it is, it, it is truly a special event. And a lot of the comments that I hear, this is my second year chairing, and a lot of the comments I hear is this is a Mother's Day tradition. It is, mm-hmm. it, absolutely, you know, yeah. It is. And it's, um, it's special to bring your family out, have a picnic, um, you know, enjoy the symphony. This is our 50th year, so we're, our themes are around the last 50 years, you know, legacy songs and, and um and and you'll see that within the uh, the fafo.org site uh, we list all the songs are on there now in the program um, and one of the 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 nice things is i i actually hadn't attended this event until the last four four years ago when i joined the fafo board i'm like what's this symphony under the stars i grew up in marion county but down in the south marion area and um and so I went and I thought, wow, this is special. It's, it's, a, it's truly a family-friendly event from, you know, over 80 to under two. Yeah, right, right, right. You know, there's right. a kid's area. People bring their blankets and their, their wagons and their food and their beverages. Yeah, and yeah. they lay everything out and they just sit and listen to the symphony. Um, and so we're, we're proud to be able to put this on again with 
the support of the community as well. We get a lot of financial support from the community to put it on in kind. CW Roberts is providing barricade fences. Uh, this is a paid event. Um, so you can, we have ticket stations that you can buy your tickets at. You can buy them at the event. This year we're partnering with Eventbrite. And so you can go on fafo.org to buy your tickets um, and pre-purchase those tickets. And it'll give us a way to be able to notify you um, as reminders in reference to the event itself and give you a little bit of information on how to get there and what to do. So Very good. Nice. Yeah. We're up against the break, so uh, we'll take a little breather and be right back. Uh, Karen Hatch, do I have your last name right, Karen? Yes, you Karen, do. Karen. Uh, and, of course, Kelly Hart is here. Ocala Magazine Radio is the program you're listening to. And we'll be right back and learn more about the uh, FAFO Symphony Under the Stars right. event. Yes. And when we come back, we'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For Friday, some sun, then increasing clouds, a shower and heavy thunderstorm around during the afternoon and evening hours. The high Friday, 80 to 84. Later Friday night, some clearing, low 63 in a few inland spots, upper 60s along the coast. For Saturday, partly sunny, just a slight chance of a shower, high 82 to 86. Sunday, mostly sunny, high 80 on the coast, 88 well inland. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Yes, it's the third annual Ocala's Got Talent with semifinals May 7th and finals May 21st. But you still have time to shine and audition for a slot in the running for your shot in Ocala's Got Talent. Call 595-7100. First place is $1,000. Second place, $500. And third place, $250. Audition fee is just $25. And spectators fee is 5 This helps the Heart of Florida Youth Ranch. Call 595-7100 for your chance to shine. Yes, Ocala's Got Talent. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Now here's another bonus of how older children are more likely to engage in active play, basically built-in playmate. So-called frontier living is back in style, and subscriptions to the association's magazine called Tomahawk and Long Rifle have been increasing every quarter. What millennials like about geezers is their geezery authenticity. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. It's the hottest ticket in town, and they're available now online. It's the annual Fine Arts for Ocala Mother's Day concert, May 8th at the Ocala Golf Club. Show your mom how much you appreciate her by attending what's become an Ocala tradition. Advanced tickets are only $20 and available at fafo.org. Get yours today and get ready for a spectacular Mother's Day all while supporting the arts in Ocala. That's the Fine Arts for Ocala Mother's Day concert and fireworks, Sunday, May 8th, Mother's Day at the Ocala Golf Club. Well, there you go. That was a coincidence right there. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's return. Uh, Kelly Hart and Karen Hatch talking about the Symphony Under the Stars. Yes. Fun event. Yeah, I, we can't wait. I mean, it's it's just kind of become a tradition for us, too. And So who brings who in your family? Do you bring your mom, or does your mom bring you? Do you well, does Lily bring you? <laughs> yeah, Lily brings all of us. Um, I'm, I guess my sister and I kind of bring our mom and uh -huh, dad, uh -huh. and then because my sister is also a mom and because I'm a mom, it's it's fun for all of us to kind of celebrate Mother's Day yeah, sure. together. That way you're not missing out on anybody. So, And then I know last year we had some of our friends join us who are also moms. And so our blanket kind of just, you know, kept getting a little bigger and bigger and spread out. But I mean, it was so much fun, especially mm -hmm. what I really enjoyed was like the kids just running. I mean, they're just running around. They're having fun. It's the golf course. So there's, I mean, it, there's it's safe. It's you know, clear stretch of, and you see some, especially like little toddlers, they just take off and they're they just, just have going. a good time. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. everybody's so, I mean, people that you don't know, you're walking up and it's, I mean, it's Mother's Day. And so everyone's there with their mom and, and some people's tables and their spread is really elaborate. I saw candelabras and I mean, some pretty nice spreads. I was mm -hmm. like, wow, we're going to have to step it up. Next yeah. Year. yeah. <laughs> do, do, you, do you remember when uh, we used to do the fireworks at Tuscola Park on Absolutely. the 4th of July? Yeah. That's this, the same kind of feel, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's something else that we did as a family. So now we kind of have this tradition where we all get yeah. together yeah. and, and hopefully we'll be able to do it you know, hopefully when I'm a grandma, I'll be, I'll still be oh, going. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which hopefully isn't soon. <laughs> I don't think it'll be soon. <laughs> I hope not. But yeah. I but know it'll be soon enough. Sooner than I would like. Yeah. I'm yeah. certain. It'll happen. Yes, absolutely. It'll happen. So um, I know Karen wanted to mention some special sponsors, obviously, because it takes all of these people to pull this off. 
Absolutely. You know, one of our, um, it, I'll mention our in-kind sponsors first. Um, those are people who, who give back to us in, in ways that um, they can give um, and, and that we, we need different things. Um, actually, Ocala Magazine is one of our biggest in-kind sponsors, and, and they facilitate a print ad for us and give us opportunities like this to be able to get the word out. Um, and they're the official magazine of uh, Fine Arts for Ocala. We also partner with the Ocala Star Banner um, on both of our events, the um, art festival that comes up in um, October, and then this event as well. And then, of course, the city of Ocala, they provide us the golf course mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, to be able yeah. to hold the facility. So they're, they're huge partners in many different ways. Uh, they meet with us uh, on a regular basis. Their Ocala Police Department helps with uh, the event itself. Right, right, right. Um, they provide us barriers and, and all kinds of different things. And then CW Roberts is uh, contracting. Um, they're working downtown now they've got uh, quite a few of the uh, municipality contracts and they've provided us with barrier fence which is a huge expense um, for us so um, we of course want to thank the Ocala Golf Club and um, you know and Matt Wardell and the Ocala Symphony as well because they you know, sure they put on you can't the have event. symphony under the stars without we, a symphony, without a symphony. Yeah. no that's important yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Palm Chevrolet is our major sponsor for the event and uh, so they will be there as well as far as uh, as well as uh, Macy's uh, Center State Bank Ocala Nur Surgical Renaissance Bank and John Gallat MD so those are some of our major sponsors that we have nice. um, we have patrons supporters of the arts we've um, you know I mentioned this is our 50th year we're we're doing a 50th anniversary in November um, we're gonna have a celebration for that um, our organization has been around for a long time this being one of the major events that we've had for it as well as the art festival um, which provides us the 50th year anniversary so it's really um, exciting for us to be the official magazine for FAFO especially at this time when the 50th and yeah, really, it's happening really. because you know we've already gotten together and talked about ways that we can incorporate that and you know later on and kind of watch as it unfolded and tell a story and so it's really mm -hmm. exciting for us to be a part of that because we get to tell that story so well I think that as well as the you know the community as a whole we were talking about the downtown re revitalization um, you know, Max coming out, um, you know, the city's really stepped up their game in reference to arts and, and uh, yeah, revitalization. We have a community that really embraces the arts. Very much I mean, yes, so. Really so. Performing arts as well as, mm -hmm. you know, yes. art, what you normally consider traditional art paintings at, yeah. and sculpting, et cetera, and music. Yeah, Ocala We're, Symphony. Yeah. The, um, o yeah, how many theater. small towns like our size have a symphony yeah. orchestra? And one of the largest yeah. uh, community, you know, largest known community theaters within the, you know, nation is is within our Marion County. So we, we are very fortunate to have the community that we do and the support of the municipalities that we have. So, so. is this one of those things that you plan the day after it's over? You, you start <laughs> planning for next year? You know, it's funny, we do. Um, we, we take the advice and the feedback from the community, from our partners that we work with, um, from the day of the event. You know, as it unfolds, we're writing down notes of how we can improve it for next year. Um, you know, Kelly was asking me about the weather, so everybody it's, 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 it's hard. <laughs> That's the one hard thing you yes. can't you yeah. can't predict. Yeah. Rain or shine. Yeah. It's no. um, you know we we are probably over two thousand tickets sold at this point in time. You know with our Brent Bright, it helps us track that um, even more so than mm -hmm. before. Um, so I don't know, know if you said it or not. Are there fireworks at at, at the very end? At the there very are end, okay. fireworks. Um, and they're partners. gorgeous. Yes, they yeah, are gorgeous. They are. I mean, they it's a full show. We were impressed last mm -hmm. year. So like, wow, yeah. that was a full show. Something you didn't expect. No, I yeah. didn't. And I, what I can say is if you're, so if you're planning to come and you're wondering, you know, what should I wear and what kinds of, th of things should I bring? Um, you know, I mean, it's super casual. You want to be comfortable. You're probably going to be sitting on your blanket or in your lawn chairs. One of the things I can think from last year is if you have some type of rolly, rolling cart or wagon that you can pack everything in, because where depending on how lucky you are and how close you're able to park, it could be a little bit of a hike to the course. And then depending on where you want to sit hmm. on the fairway, it can be a little bit of a hike. So if you, the less you have to carry, obviously, if you can roll it, that's really convenient. And another thing I recall was, so after it got dark, then walking back, I know where we parked, was there was no lighting. And I thought, man, I wish we had like a, a maybe a little flashlight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, you know, help us kind of get back through the car. So maybe if when you're packing things, if you think to pack a flashlight, you'll be happy 
when That's the sun sets and you're walking yeah. back to your car and just for idea. safety and mm-hmm. things of that nature. Maybe what time does it start? What time? It starts at 530? Uh, gates open at 530. Okay. It starts at uh, around sundown, so around 7, 730 in that, in that area. So um, most people try to get there a little bit early, as mm-hmm. Kelly was mentioning, parking um, along 36th Avenue. Um, I know that we've heard that the church is, um, and I can't remember the church's name off the top of my head, but it's the Gulfview Plaza parking lot mm-hmm. that's okay. just, okay. that's just uh, east of, or just west of the uh, golf course entrance, and then the round, I, I think of it as the movie theater. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, because in theater. the day, yeah, yeah it's yeah. Springs Theater. In the day, that's what it was. But it's The um, rocking chair theater, remember? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. But um, that church uh, who facilitates, or is in that facility, um, they they are, are offering parking for a for first small fee so um, we also have parking in the back in the um, off of Fort King there's a there's a a subdivision back there and back in there there's the back entrance of the golf course okay and we have some a little bit of paid parking back in that area and then on the east side where the Regions Bank is for um, Golf U Plaza okay um, there's a little bit of parking as as well there I know the business is up and down 36th Avenue they're closed on Sunday usually they you know will allow parking within their their businesses and up and down the 36th Avenue corridor but as Kelly mentioned, that's a great idea. Um, have a flashlight, a blanket, you know, things that you might want to be insect able repellent. To. In- yes, insect repellent. There's a kids yes. area and that sunscreen. Yeah, yeah. Have sunscreen. Even though it's late yeah. in the day, you might need it. You yeah. might yeah. need it. Mm-hmm. Well, Can if you, you get there early enough, you will need well, it. Yep, yep, you'll need it. So I'm guessing you can't bring your dog, right? Can't bring your pet. Um, it's a golf course. You wouldn't want to do that. There are right? a lot of people that do that day. Oh, um, really? That no, they don't bring their. Oh, okay. I, we've not seen dogs. Oh, I yeah. don't think the golf course allows. No, dogs I wouldn't think course. so. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and not only that, there are a tremendous amount of people in in a pretty small area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how fun it would be for a dog because um, I don't really have a lot of. But area, I always think right? it yeah. should be mentioned only because there's a lot of listeners who the dog is inseparable. Yeah. Uh, from yeah, them, so. yeah, the golf course, right. I, I believe, does yeah. not allow dogs. Yeah. On in theory, course. it sounds yeah. nice, but you it know, if a nice. dog's barking right. and you're trying to listen to the symphony too, <laughs> that could probably get. And yeah. fireworks, I'm not sure that. Uh, absolutely, dogs. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was one of the warnings we had yesterday mm-hmm. as yeah. we enter into the summer. Of course, of course, nowadays we have fireworks like all year long. We have New Year's and. Yeah, any so any opportunity. It's we no can longer get. just a summertime thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you want information on the event, we have an ad in our April issue of Ocala Magazine. Um, and we will have an ad in our May issue of Ocala Magazine. It's also been all over our Facebook, if you like Ocala Magazine on Facebook. And Karen, maybe you have some opportunities for people to get in touch with you guys and get some information Absolutely. The best way of getting in touch with us is through our website, and that's fafo.org. We also... um, you know, have a Facebook website as well, and um, and I was looking for our oh, here it is our FAFO number. We have a FAFO number that gives a lot of information as well. It's eight six seven zero three five five. That's eight six seven zero three five five. And I also wanted to offer your listeners some tickets. Okay, um, oh, awesome. So awesome. If not, not right this second. If you want, um, we have six tickets available. So okay, nice. Um, well, what so. we'll do if uh, if you leave them with Robin, she'll find a, a time in the schedule to to give them Perfect. away, and then yeah, okay, would good, love, excellent. Would love to do that. So, um, but yeah, a lot of information as Kelly was mentioning, things to bring. Um, you know, when the event is. Uh, held the time frames with all on the website so we'd love to have you and your families join us and looking forward to a wonderful mm. symphony into stars event having having uh, matthew wardell in the symphony in town has raised my awareness of classical music i wasn't really into it a whole lot but just listening to some of you say oh i want to check that out and then you go f- online you find some recordings Does, am i alone in this does this happen no, for no, you too I, it, it, it yeah. has happened to yeah, me yeah, yeah. yeah i mean i would have never thought even maybe just five years ago that going to a symphony would be something i would necessarily be interested in yeah yeah, yeah. or feel that i would enjoy yeah. and i have done 
more than enjoy it. I've really kind of invested in it now. So, and my so children we're happy to be there. Yeah. yeah, being able to provide that to our children as well as huge. Yeah, get your tickets. Call mom. Make sure she's free on Sunday. Get the kids and the grandkids, and you will have probably one of the best memories on Mother's Day that you've That's ever had. That's sweet. Yeah, good idea. Uh, Kelly Hart, of course, as always. Thank you so much. Thank and you. Susan Griffin, thank you for thank uh, you. Susan Griffin. Uh, Karen Hatch, <laughs> thank you for coming in. Sorry, I had two names in front of me. <laughs> we'll be right back. So I'm Pat O'Neill. The music community and fans continue to mourn the death of Prince. He's very one of the music legends. You know, all, all his music was very good. You know, just a tragedy how how he passed away. An autopsy will be performed today. Prince found dead at his home near Minneapolis.